So you want to transpose any patch. Let's get straight to it. So today I'm going to be working with the Gratitude patch from Kingdom Patches. And this is in the original key of B, as you can see there. But let's say I want to take that down to the key of A. Let's try it like this. Now I've headed to the Layer Editor tab, as you can see over here. So Channel Library, Attributes, Layer Editor. Now in this window, we'll be able to see each layer and you can see the unique colors that correspond. Now, I wanna to go to the key of A. It's too high for my singer. So what I wanna do is drag, I need to figure out how many notes A is away from the key of B and that is two semitones or a full step down. So I'm going to drag this two, one, two steps down. Now you can also do it like this by grabbing them individually. One, two, one, two, and then one, two. All right, you, you can get tedious with it, but it really isn't that hard, okay? If you know how to count and do math, you're fine. What we wanna do now is change the chord triggers. Just like we changed the layers, we must also do the same within the chord trigger plugin. So we're gonna go down one, two steps. Now, this patch has a few chord, chord triggers as you can see. So we're gonna do that to all of our chord triggers. I will fast forward this for your sake. Yep, down two, down two, down two. Now that I've dragged them all down two steps, I can play in the key of A and it'll sound perfect. That simple. Now let's say A is a little bit low. I could do the same thing and take it up to the key of C, D, whatever your singer is most comfortable with. So in summary, adjust the layer section with each sound, whether you're going down or up in key, and adjust the chord triggers likewise. Have fun guys.